While feminism was a force all over Australia in the 70s, the last place it reached was the beaches. It would take two surfy chicks to point it out to the nation. Oh, well, surfy girls have a special walk. First of all, the hips have to be out a little bit like that. And um, shoulders down. Don't swing your arms. It's got to be cool. And you see, you sort of just and walk like you this. don't look up. Just flash, just flash little looks at all the boys. The and girls, the girls at Queensy always used to be. Oh, you're out there. You're not talking to our boyfriends, are you? <laughs> it's like, oh no, I don't. I thought it hadn't ended my mind, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they were jealous. They sort of saw a connection. Oh, you can actually access the boys out there. <laughs> you don't find that boring just laying there all day and watching the guys surf? Not really. Yeah. And do you crack but onto the surface, too? Sometimes. Sometimes. You weren't watching. I was. I caught this really good wave. I looked up and you weren't watching. I was. I saw you. Yes, yeah, you In was. 1981, Puberty Blues put the suburban beach scene onto the big screen. Australia saw its teenage kids at the beach with a bone-jarring clarity. It was both frightening and funny, but it was real. I'll get you something. What do you want? Chico roll. Give us a match. And a chocolate thick shake. OK, OK. One day we walked down the beach and they were filming. And there was a chick with a board and uh, we just yelled out, Chicks can't surf. And then we kept on walking, and the director came running at us, just going, Can you say that again? And we're just like, What are you talking about? He's like, Can you please go back and do that again? And we're like, Sweet, whatever. And we've done it. And we're, all, we're in the movie. Okay, yep. Get lost. Oh, shut your face. Get your face down. down. What do you got that for? We're going to surf. Chicks don't surf. Just you wait. <laughs> I always kind of liked the fact that it was it was girls who got me into surfing and it was in the 60s and it was when women were surfing and